Hi, I am here today with Ashley Hopkins of Sound Retirement in North Carolina. Thank you so much for your time. I know you wear many hats and this is a very busy time of the year for you. How long have you been in the business? Since 1999. So <laughs> I, I always say I've done this for a couple of days. I, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. You've seen some stuff. So what's changed? A lot has changed. I, I say a lot has changed, but a lot stayed the same. There are a lot more ladies in the business today. When I started in the industry, there were two ladies that I was in. I was one of two. And I remember making it my mission to recruit more ladies in the business because mm -hmm. there is just a special place for us to help people with their retirement Medicare planning. I made that a special mission of my own back mm -hmm. in the early 2000s when I got in management in 2000. I can say I've recruited hundreds of ladies into the business today. That's awesome. We do empathy really well. <laughs> we do, we do, and, and we listen, we listen. So I think that is very important part. Some of the feedback I got early in my career was Ashley, stop talking and listen because you want to share how much you can help people. You need to listen. That was great feedback because that's something that ladies are very good at. Everyone needs to listen to what the needs of the client are. And Absolutely. that's what's nice about American Senior Benefits. We're able to listen to the client's needs, and then design a plan based on what those needs are from all the different carriers we have. We can go out and find the products based on the needs of the client and not fit a square peg into a round hole. Instead of working with a, just one carrier that has eight to 10 products, sure. we're working with a company that has over 165 carriers that each have eight to 10 products. So that's the one thing, I guess, when you start with American Senior Benefits, that's a little overwhelming. So we try to only start you with maybe 10 carriers at first, master those hundred products, and, <laughs> and then we'll add on a few more. Yeah. So that's what's changed. What's, what's stayed the same? Marketing is similar. You do have to market yourself. You have to make sure that you're active in your prospecting. You have to make sure that you are always 100% of the time thinking about staying on top of activity. I know that social media has changed that ball game somewhat quite a bit, but making sure that you are working your referrals and that's something that, that we have tried to master mm -hmm. is working referrals, but always staying active and looking for the newest lead generation in, in a sense. We st want to stay involved in everything in the community. But even though I, I keep saying, you know, looking for what's new, we always did that back then too. We yeah. always stayed involved in helping as much as we possibly could, getting involved in the veteran community, getting involved in everything we could here locally in each of the communities that we are involved in, we give back. So that's so important and getting involved in networking, that is critical as well, mm -hmm. but you have to give in order to receive. And I think until people mature professionally to appreciate that, they yeah. will not grow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you are a powerhouse dynamo and I know that there's got to be something behind that. What's the mission statement? Okay, so we do have a pretty powerful mission statement. It is to serve and to protect with integrity our local communities and veterans nationwide by educating families, churches, and organizations about their legal rights and options when transitioning into retirement. This includes Medicare planning, final expense, and life insurance planning, asset preservation and protection, lifetime income planning, and retirement planning. We require additional designations within our family and our firm to accomplish those goals. So <laughs> that leads me into additional conversations. But that was that was the mission statement. 
So it's it's just three sentences. But, sure, it's pretty um, broad, and no wonder you need so much energy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's broad but concise, meaning mm -hmm. we have different divisions here under the same roof. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be a jack of all trades, even though American Senior Benefits offers so much. You can't be an expert in all those areas. One person cannot know everything about all of our Medicare supplement mm -hmm. carriers, about all of our Medicare Advantage carriers, all of our annuity carriers, life insurance carriers. You, one person can't know everything about all of those at one time. Right. Now, can I say I know quite a bit about all the annuity carriers myself? I know a lot about most of those. <laughs> but do I know about all of the Medicare Advantage carriers as well? No. Mm -hmm. So we do have a Medicare division headed up by our director of Medicare. We have a life insurance division headed up by our director of life insurance. We also have a retirement division. So we have all three divisions in-house under the same roof. So when someone comes in, they get to train with each of those divisions. But you have to master each of those to help the client. You're also going to fact find with each client and then come to each of those areas and ask for assistance and help. I think that's wonderful. You have a lot of support there for your team. Tremendous support, tremendous support where they yeah. can go and say, hey, I've got a client who needs some assistance, some help. Can you help me put together a case or an illustration, a presentation? Can solutions. You assist me with some solutions for this client for their retirement plan. Yeah. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's how we run our deal, so to speak, um, mm -hmm. here in the Carolinas. That's awesome. Yes, Any yeah. great stories, Ashley, that you could share, you know, making a difference every day? I know you do in people's lives, clients' lives, agents' lives. There's always a story. Well, we have many stories, of course, we can tell. I have a lady right now that we've been assisting with her retirement. She just recently retired from a home care agency, and I had done her mother's retirement oh. 15, 15 years ago from the school system, and she's just retired recently. She's gone out a little bit early because of health reasons. The letters that we receive of thanking us and appreciating everything that we've done, that's the best calls that we get. I wanted to call you because you helped my parents. Thank you so much for what you did for my parents. I know that, you know, they always said when it was time getting close to retirement to call you. And I remember you meeting with them. And I wanted to give you a call because I know we can trust you. That what a legacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a legacy we're building. Yeah. And it's trust with families. And people know they can trust us with their retirement. We're meeting them, we're meeting their children, we're mm -hmm. meeting their grandchildren. You're building relationships with people, their children, their grandchildren, their entire family. So you're not just building relationships with the, the couple that you're sitting in front of mm -hmm. and talking to today, but with their family for years to come. Yes, absolutely. Wow. I know that you're not looking for people who are looking for a job. You're not looking to just bring on anybody. You want people that get the vision, get the mission statement. What are you looking for? I'm looking for somebody who has a big heart that wants to build relationships and build a career, mm -hmm. uh, but that really wants to, like I said, give back and make a difference. When people call me or come in for an interview and they just talk about that they are such a super salesperson mm -hmm. and how much they can affect my bottom line, I know that they're just going to be here for a short minute and probably cause me problems in the future, meaning cut corners, and then I'm going to have to go behind them and fix problems. So I would much rather have somebody during their interview talk about how much they want to help people, how much mm -hmm. they want to build a career and give back and do the right thing. So that is who I'm looking for. It's not about making money and patting their own pocket. It's about helping the client make money, helping the client secure their future, mm -hmm. helping the client set up a lifetime income stream for the rest of their life and save money on their insurance and put them in a better position. So 
when somebody talks about themselves the whole time during an interview instead of the client, they're not for us. It sounds like a sustainable culture and how you're building that legacy and helping and supporting your community down there. That is awesome stuff. Anything else you want to share with us today? I can just say working with you has been such a blessing because you know what I'm looking for and know what, you know, I'm not looking for. Just the other day, the lady that I spoke with, Miss well, I shouldn't say any names, but young lady that I spoke with is coming in to see me next week. It was wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. That's exactly who I was looking for that is going to be an asset to our team. So I can say, you know, that is such a blessing, our relationship as well. Yes, I appreciate you too. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's an honor and a privilege always. And you have a great day. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much.